College Park, a campus with more than 41,000 students and faculty and even more staff, has a huge amount of circulation and water use. The cycle of benefits water provides for us and our surroundings involves biodiversity, ecosystem goods and services, and human health. Over the past decade, water use at the University of Maryland has decreased even with an increase in student body size, showing greater efficiency. In the U.S., the average person uses 80 to 100 gallons of water per day, so based on this statistic, a 41,000 population would use around 1,346,850 kilogallons a year. Our current usage is much lower at around 475,302 kilogallons, or around 800 million gallons less. 64 bottle bottle refill stations were installed on campus by Terps Heart the Tap, which has led to conservation of almost 39,000 gallons of water that would instead have been used in disposable bottle manufacturing. On campus, water is used for a variety of purposes, with the second largest purpose of 25% being residence hall. This includes one of the largest contributors to our water use, showers. Water plays a very important role in the community as it provides a lot of services to College Park and its inhabitants. First of all, the water refill stations throughout campus allow for our hydration. Hydration is incredibly important for human health as water helps us with all kinds of bodily processes such as maintaining homeostasis. Hydration is especially important on a 1,250 acre campus like College Park where students walk miles every day to get to classes. Secondly, water allows us to keep our hygiene. Greater student body hygiene leads to less disease circulation. Hand washing is one of the most important ways to prevent the flu, cold, and other infectious diseases. For example, the Center for Disease Control, or CDC, estimates washing hands with water and soap reduces diarrheal disease-related deaths by up to 50%. Without water, diseases like athlete's foot, head lice, and pinworms would be a lot more prevalent on campus. Having seen the significance of water in our lives, RA Nicole Hagerty of the 7th floor of La Plata Hall at the University of Maryland placed 5-minute shower hourglasses in the bathroom stalls to instill a sense of time or a resource running out for the students. Interviewing some of the floor members on their use of the shower timers, this is what we found. Do you use the 5-minute shower hourglass? Um, I actually don't because I normally get in the handicapped um, shower and there isn't one in there. Okay. I don't. And why is that? Um, I like my long showers. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever try it like once just to see how it goes? Yeah, I did. And then I kind of forgot it was running. So <laughs> I kind of just gave up. Yes. Are you able to take a five minute shower with it? Yes. I don't use them. I've used them like a few times and I just kind of forgot they were running and or flipped it over numerous times. <laughs> uh, do you think it helps to make the shower shorter? Um, I think it definitely helps because it like makes you aware how long you're like, actually in there and just like... How do you feel about sustainability initiatives on campus? Um, I definitely think that they're a good idea and helping, I hope. Do you usually but use them? I always have my water bottle with me instead of like buying a plastic water bottle or anything. Yeah, I um, always use a reusable water bottle. I don't buy plastic water bottles, so I really like to do that just because it's like easier for me and it also like saves a lot of plastic. Um, I think that the that UMG is doing a lot for water con conservation. I think like the water bottle fillers are really effective because a lot of people use them. Where do you think your water comes from? I have no idea. I'm assuming there's like a reservoir somewhere near. <laughs> uh, a reservoir. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. Do you know where your water goes? Um. A river. <laughs> no idea. No. No. Well, it probably goes into the Anacostia because that's disgusting. Clearly, College Park students do not have a great idea of where our water comes from or where it goes. Let's find out. The WSCC, or Washington Suburban Commission, is in charge of water regulation in the College Park area. Drinking water comes to the University of Maryland from the Rocky Gorge Reservoir, one of the two reservoirs formed by dams spanning the Patuxent River. Together, both reservoirs store 10.6 billion gallons of water and have a surface area of 1,600 acres. The Rocky Gorge Reservoir watershed is around 35,000 acres large. Of this, 28% of the watershed is developed and 39% is forest, with the rest being crops or pasture. The forests thriving around these bodies of water help maintain the complex watershed ecosystem. 
forests provide such great natural filtration and storage systems that they process nearly two-thirds of the water supply in the United States. They also help keep the water and streams clear. The ability of forest vegetation and soils to absorb and filter water also increases groundwater as this clear water trickles down and accumulates to form aquifers. Additionally, this absorbance of water allows forests to moderate runoff during rainstorms, an ecosystem service that Baltimore City is implementing by planting thousands of trees to reduce stormwater runoff around the Chesapeake Bay. From taking care of our ecosystems and biodiversity to providing our daily needs to enhancing our health, water shows its wealth of benefits and role in a variety of different aspects of our world, just within the College Park area. The annual estimated operating cost of an 86,000 gallon per day nanofiltration water treatment center is $40,000. If we were to say that all students living on campus currently take 10 minute showers around 5 times a week, then that would lead to the use of 33 million gallons of water a year. If we did not have our naturally filtering reservoir, this would cost $60 million to be filtered by a treatment center. If all students decided to instead take 5 minute showers, this would cut the number of gallons of water used per year to 16 million, and it would also reduce the cost by half to only $8 million. This cost is a great representation of the burden put on the Rocky Gorge Reservoir. Many students think, why take a shorter shower when there's plenty of water available? The reason is, if you put too much pressure on the output of clean water from the reservoir, the cycle of benefits could collapse. So why not take that 5 minute shower or at least do water saving Wednesdays and 5 minute Fridays because regardless of how much we think we're not helping the environment without being in that natural surrounding, we can help from any aspect of the cycle. It's truly the things as little as 5 fewer minutes.